Hey everybody, it's Connor Melbeth and I'm in Las Vegas at CES 2019. As you can see, there's a giant Nexus behind me. It's Bell's new flying mobile. Now, I know it's not called a flying limousine, but that's what I want to call it. So it's basically this giant flying car that we actually got to take a sneak peek inside. Take a look. Okay, so we're going into the Nexus. There's four seats, five uh, if you include the pilot. Now, um, I don't know if I told you yet, but it's going to be pretty much autonomous. So they won't actually need actual tangible pilots for a little bit. But let's come on in and check it out. Watch your head, folks. So there's two seats in the back. Uh, looks like there's coasters. Great. So if you can tell in the back, there's two seats. Um, I don't know if that's a charging compartment, but it seems like they thought about it all. Um, it's kind of cool backlit. It looks like you're in a limousine, like on your way to prom. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. Now, there's a couple of people in the front checking out the GPS, and there's like, it looks like one of those Tesla screens at the front. So we're gonna go take a peek at that. Um, and yeah, I mean, for the most part, what they're saying is that it's going to be costing when this comes to market, which who knows, um, will cost roughly the same as like an Uber X. So they were saying an Uber X right now is about $2 per mile, uh, and it'll be around under that or about the same. So the entire um, ceiling looks like some sort of graphic, kind of like a skylight, except there's not actually anything there. I don't know if it will, if it's like, it will be like a GPS. It says Garmin, which is a, a GPS company. Um, and we're gonna go check out the front. So there are USB ports right there. We found them, we found them. Okay, so as you can see, there's two seats in the back, two seats in the front, and then this is the pilot. Eventually it will be autonomous, so this guy won't even need to be there, right? Um, as you can see, there's three sort of big, large TV screens. One looks predominantly like if you were to, uh, if you're a pilot and driving a plane. So a couple cool things about this is that it's supposed to navigate the cost that a really expensive infrastructure like subways and highways are. There's only going to be a couple large ports where these helicopter-like devices will land on in large cities. It's going to start in cities like Dallas-Fort Worth and Los Angeles that have a really high congestion within their highways. Now obviously safety is a huge priority to Bell and they want to make sure that this is being properly regulated. They've been looking into a lot of government agencies and making sure that the nexus is up to code. Obviously, the Nexus is not flying into your city anytime soon, but it will be in the near future, and who knows what will happen to these flying mobiles. I'm Connor Melba for BU News Service, and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye, guys.